Um, so, I'm just bringing it all back together to tell you how we write test questions. We take a body system. We pick the level of the question it needs to be at. And then we choose which, where we want to ask the question. So there's only, it feels like there's so much knowledge, but there's only a limited amount of knowledge and a limited amount of questions that we can ask. We just ask it in different ways. Um, but you know, instructors get nervous about tests getting out, and oh, the next class has the test, maybe they go, man, I get test on a Monday, turn around and get that same test as a supplemental on the following Monday and still have the students do well or not do well. Like, just because you, so what we have, what I have seen in my own practice is it doesn't matter if you've seen the test or not. All I have to do is switch a word or two around and it changes the context of the question. And so you may think that you've seen this test before or I have access to the test. And even, I mean, I have given, I have given supplementals that have just been the same questions from the previous exam and still had a bell curve of, of scores. So um, what you need to know is the content and not try to remember the answer, basically, or yeah, so the process. Okay, does that make sense? Um, let me see, where are we? 10 to 10. We're getting out of here in an hour, right? Where are we on our PowerPoint? I'm going to um, take another 10 minutes and move on through this pretty quickly because you've got it here, so you've got the, um, the, uh, the key things here. What's most important is that you know how to prioritize because those are the questions that you want to try to have the most of because those are the passing level questions. Just get it in, get it done. This is the, incl the, the NCLEX plan. Yes, ma'am. Uh, will you touch on select all the <laughs> yes. So the test plan is separated into these sections. These do not follow our, our general idea of the body systems. It doesn't follow the biomedical model. Um, so I would suggest that you um, look at those to see what is in them. So for example, I think that the growth and development for pediatrics is in uh, health promotion and maintenance. I also think that that's where the maternity questions come from. Um, so it would be in your best interest to look at, at what the breakdown is of those questions. And then the website down here is where you can find out all about the test plan. Uh, know before you go, it's really important. Um, I'll just leave it at that. You'd be surprised, um, for example, um, I think you have to have two forms of ID when you show up. So if you show up with one form of ID thinking you're about to take a test, and you're like, yes, I'm ready. And they're like, where's your second form of ID? And you're like, oh, I don't have it. They're like, uh, okay, you can re-register. And you're like, wait a minute, I was ready today. I was ready. You know, before you go. Um, Oh, I forgot to mention that it's probably best not to tell anybody when you're going to take the NCLEX either because they're like hovering over you like, you know, how'd you do, how'd you do, and you just don't even need that extra pressure because um, it takes away from your ability to concentrate. So it's not a group activity. Don't go with your best friend. This is because you're going to be done and you're like, oh my gosh, she's not done. Is she done? Or you, you'll still be in there and you'll be like, is my friend done yet? And it, you just, it's not, this is not a group activity. This is an individual thing. Okay. Um, okay. This is what you need. The first thing that you need to do is identify what type of question is it. Is it a process of elimination question where you have to, there's only one right answer, um, so that be at the application level or below. There's only one right answer and you have to determine if it's right or wrong. And you have to eliminate the answer choices. Or is it a priority question? How do you know if it's a priority question or not? What do you do first? What do you do first? There are some key words. First. On the very last slide, by priority, there is an example of some key words. Best, first, most, next, priority. If you see those words, which are usually bolded and underlined, then it's a priority question, which means, 
all you have to do is prioritize. Sometimes you don't even need to know what the question says, because if your answer choices are, are about priority, then just prioritize. Because that means all, generally all the answers are right, but you just have to choose the best one. Careful about the words best, most, priority, and the words first, next, because first and next are sequential. There is a difference between what do you do first versus what do you do next. Right. If someone is having trouble breathing, the first thing that you do is clear their airway. The next thing that you do is give them oxygen. You can't give them oxygen first because their airway isn't clear and it's not going to go in. So there's a difference between first and next. I think we need to take a break. I think we need to take a break. Um, let's take a 10 minute break and come back at um, 10.40. Um, please be on time because um, it's gonna take us 40 minutes to get through the rest of this and I wanna make sure you all get as much information as possible. Wow.